grade 6 math number 10.1 equations and functions. In this chapter we're talking about equations and different functions. So these are how to do equations from words, okay? An equation is a statement that two math expressions are equal. So notice that equation is EQUA and the word equal in pink there is EQUA. That's going to help you remember that an equation has an equal sign, like 2 plus 3 equals 5, or 7 squared equals 7 times 7. That would be an equation, where an expression is a math phrase or part of a number sentence that combines numbers, operation signs, maybe some variables, but it has no equal sign. So 5y plus 5 minus negative 10 would be an equation. We can't solve it. We might be able to simplify it. We don't know what y is. See? There's no equal sign. So we can turn the words from, a sent from sentences or word problems into equations. Let me get rid of this A before it drives me crazy. Bob spent $360 on new blue jeans, and each, e if each pair cost $72, how many pairs of jeans did he get? We can do this two ways. We can say 72 times Q, the quantity of jeans, is 360. Or we could have done a division problem, couldn't we? We could have said 360 divided by 72, and that would tell us the quantity of jeans he bought. See? We could have done the inverse, so it didn't matter. Emma's making a big pot of chili, and the recipe says to use three cups of diced onion. She dices three onions and gets two and one-fourth cups. Write an equation that could show how many more cups, C, that Emma needs. So, she's filled two and a fourth cups, plus C, what's needed, would be the three that the recipe's called for. We could have also done a subtraction problem, right? We could have done 3 minus 2 and a quarter equals C. Inverse can be done. All right. We can write equations from just a few words. 8 fewer than a number is 21.15. The fewer tells us minus. Now, because it says 8 fewer than a number, this means we have a number and we're taking 8 away. N minus 8. 8 minus N means we have 8 and we're taking a number away. It doesn't say we're taking a number away. It says we have eight fewer than a number. So the number is first, and then we take away the eight that it's fewer. See? So you've got to be careful of the words. Three-fourths of the price of the jeans is $48. Well, when we ever see a fraction of, that means we need to multiply to find it. So if three-fourths of the price of the jeans is $48, then three-fourths times J, the jeans, is $48. See? The oak wood costs three times more than the pine, which was $12. Three times more tells us we got to multiply. W, which is the oak wood, is three times $12, three times the price of the pine. See? 33 is six more than a number. Well, this tells us that it's an equal sign. 33 equals 6 more than a number, and the more tells us plus. So 33 is equal to 6 plus a number. See? We could have written the other way around, too. We could have put the 33 over here equals 6 plus n, right? It still would have been okay. The difference of a number and 5 is 4.6. Difference tells us to subtract. Is tells us an equal sign. So we know it's going to be equals 4.6. Difference of a number... So, and 5, so we have n minus 5. See? 4.6. The difference, um, so now we have an equation. P minus 2.1 equals 4.3, and they want us to write a sentence for it. So we could write the difference of a number, P, and 2.1 is 4.3. We could have also written 2.1 fewer than a number is 4.3, and that would have been correct also. There's so a lot of different ways to write these. A quotient of a number is and 5 equals 30. Quotient tells us we're going to use division. Number, we're going to use n or any variable we want, right? Because a variable is just an alphabet taking a place of a number that we don't know what it is. So we use n because it's here. So the quotient of a number and 5, so, is 30. So that means we need to get a number and 5 and make it 30. So the, a number and 5 equals 30. Something divided by 5 equals 30. See? The is is equals. So we can use word clues to help us write equations. Is would be equals. 
bigger, more than, warmer, higher, faster. That would be an addition. Fewer, difference, less than, lesser, that would be subtraction. If it says each times or so many times, then we know it's multiplication. If it says how many each or quotient, we know it's division, right? So there's all kinds of different words that'll help us decipher word problems and be able to make equations or turn equations into sentences that we understand what they're looking for, okay? That's how you do equations from words, all right? I'll see you next video. Keep trying. You're doing great. Bye.